Hi guys, this is Jahan, and this is a reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please remember these are general messages meant for a ton of people, so it may not resonate with everyone, and it's also a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to stumble upon this, if it's meant to resonate for you, uh, you'll see it at the right time. So I'm going to ask Universe Angel Spirit, Creator of all things, please show me the energies for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Any messages, advice, or warnings? And how can they potentially improve the quality of their life? Cancer, Summon, and Rising. Okay, two more. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we have Queen of Swords, overall energy. We have the Three of Cups. The Five of Swords. And temperance. Okay, so <laughs> I'm picking up a, a mixture. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of mixture or opposites attract or like a mixing of fire and water. Some of you, I get the sense that there might be someone in your energetic field. Um, or it doesn't even necessarily have to be a romantic situation. It could be within a friendship, but I feel as though there's been... You feel as though you're connected to someone or you're drawn to someone or you feel a sense of familiarity. Some of you with the three of cups, you may have met whoever this person is through friends. Some of you, maybe there was conflict in the past or conflict period. Or maybe this person is conflicted with telling you how they truly feel or there's a sense of awkwardness. But I get the sense that you guys are really drawn to one another with this three of cups energy. With the temperance card... Some of you, this could be a Sagittarius. For another group of you, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Another group of you are actually dealing with another Cancer like yourself or a Pisces, Scorpio. But overall energy with the Queen of Swords, I feel as though you've reached a point in your life where you've been through a lot. So you're always constantly using your discernment. You don't just let people in, possibly because you've been cheated on in the past. There's, there was heartache in the past. There's a lot of manipulative energy, lying, stealing, cheating. And it took you a while to heal. So you're like, well, now that I'm all healed from that, I'm never going back to that situation ever again. Or you're never, you never want to go back to feeling as though you've been played or you've been hurt. You're quick to tell someone your truth or to defend yourself you're quick to enforce boundaries moving forward and I get the sense that this person is very very attracted to that and I get the sense that a lot of you guys have done a lot of self-work so in turn you are attracting this three of cups energy some of you guys might even be dating right now or you might end up meeting like I said someone through your friends some of you this is someone you've had conflict with that's coming in to reconcile or there's going to be some sort of reunion or reconciliation but let's get clarified it's for cancer some minimizing some of you the person you're dealing with could potentially be someone of a different the cat is on the table sorry um Riri, can you stop it i'm recording Anyways, so with the Three of Cups, this is someone potentially who could be from a different country, maybe a different ethnicity or a different race. Or maybe if that doesn't apply for another group of you, this could just literally be someone who you feel as though, like I said, it's opposites of trap. Let's get clarifiers for Cancer, someone in my opinion. Oh, wow. We have devil. So yeah, there's a definitely a magnetic pull toward one another. Ooh, the tower. Ooh. Temperance again. And then we have the high priestess. So some of you, your intuition is pulling you towards... What are you doing, silly? I wish you guys could see what this guy is doing. 
Oh my God. Um, some of you guys, your intuition is telling you, like, you know, you feel this draw, you feel this magnetic pull. Some of you with this tower moment, it's like really intense or this person feels very intensely towards you. Come here, come in my lap. Come here. You want to snuggle? Come in my lap. No? You want to sit here in the middle of the spread? <laughs> you know, I'm not even mad. I'm not even going to kick him off the table. <sighs> okay. Sorry, you guys. But yeah, this the with the tower card, maybe some of you guys, it was a very toxic situation with the devil energy. This person like came in and just really, really ruffled your feathers to say the least. Some of you, this is a situation where maybe you guys feel as though you're addicted to one another as much as you try to move on. You can't. Some of you, this is a new person. You feel this magnetic pull toward one another. Oh my God, with the Empress card and Temperance. Oh my, some of you, this is someone who's very, very passionate and fiery towards you. I definitely feel as though some of you, you might feel as though there's a sense of familiarity with this person. Some of you, especially if you work in a creative capacity or you work in the beauty industry, this person admires your style. Even if you don't, like I get the sense that this person feels as though you're very, very abundant and very creative and you're very, very attractive. This person wants to take things slow out of the respect they have for you, or this is how you might be looking at this person. But whatever it is, I definitely feel as though the uh, feeling is mutual. With the devil card uh, and the three of cups, there might be another third party involved for another group of you. But I get the sense that over time with the tower card, there's going to be some sort of breakup or upheaval. But let's, let's get more clarifiers on the tower card. Yeah, I get the sense that there's going to be some sort of breakup or some sort of upheaval or some sort of change and you're going to move on to something different. Some of you, this could be a new relationship. Some of you, this could be in reference to a new business or job. I get the sense that whatever it is, you're definitely going to jump from one situation to the next. Some of you, the Knight of Pentacles, this represents the slowest moving night in the deck. I'm picking up on the letters K-N, people, places, or thing, things for some of you. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this definitely represents someone who works with their hands or does some really good work with their hands. Sometimes the Knight of Pentacles to me is representative of an engineer, a carpenter. Like I said, someone who may work in the beauty industry. So maybe your hairdresser, nail tech. But overall, just hell, you could even be a plumber, a farmer, like literally whatever you do, you're really good at. I get the sense that some of you. You're going to end up receiving some sort of financial increase from whatever it is that you do well. That'll enable you to move forward. Some of you, this will enable you to travel overseas because they're literally in a boat. Some of you, this will enable you to move home because those look like buildings and structures and apartment buildings. So, But whatever it is overall, I definitely feel as though um, whatever this Knight of Pentacles coming in finally, some of you, this is something that you've been waiting for a long time for because we have the temperance twice. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, so some of you, this is something that's finally coming in and there's going to be a solution. The six of swords to me is always a very positive card. So that's very, very good. I'm going to pull one last card to close your reading, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Normally I chew the cat off the table, but he kind of hurt his paw the other day, so I feel bad. And that's kind of why he wants to be around people a lot. He's not even my cat. He's the neighbor's cat. But, like, he'll come and knock on the door, like, claw at the door, and I'll let him in. And, like, we feed him and rub on his belly and stuff. So he comes to visit every now and then. So would you kick your guest off the table if your guest got on the table? Exactly. So I'm not going to kick him off the table. <laughs> All right. Let's get one last card for cancer. So I'm going to rise and what else they need to know. 
a little short reading for whoever is meant to see this. Some of you with the high priestess, you might have some sort of spiritual gift. You might even be another, a tarot reader like myself. And if you're a tarot reader, you know, you already know if you have a cat or, you know, pets, they're always drawn to the crystals and the cards. So, but yeah, some of you, your intu intuitions on, on, on point, your dream. Some of you, this person is in your dreams, or if this is someone new, you feel their energy. So you're, you're, you're right about this person. The feeling is mutual. Okay. We have one card. It says time to decide, make a decision based on your heart's true desire. Some of you might see numbers constantly, 111, 222, 333, and this is a reminder of the from the universe that it's time to decide. And then we have yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercise, Cancer. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, click the bell, and subscribe, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Say bye, Riri.